Today we are going to harvest some arugula seeds. We planted this arugula back in May, and now the pods have dried enough that we can harvest these seeds. You want to harvest them right when they're about to burst open, so it's easy to get the seeds out. Here you can see we still have some green pods that are forming. These are not ready to be harvested yet. Here is a close-up of a pod that has burst open and the seeds are visible. They're very tiny and this will fall and regrow, so you do want to get them before they burst. We do have quite a bit of pods um, and so we all have a lot of seeds, but today I'm only going to harvest a couple just to show you how to harvest the seeds. So here I took off a couple branches that had pods. It just took some scissors and it was very easy. You can see that um, some of the seeds have popped out of the pods, so they are very delicate. So now what you need to do is get a strainer and we're going to put the pods in the strainer. So this way, when you shake the strainer, all the seeds will fall through and then the branches will stay in the strainer. So I'm just here picking up all the small pieces. Um, there is a lot of debris that came off and just putting the branches on this plate. And then I'm going to break off some of these branches so they are smaller. You can use scissors, use your hands like I am. And when you do this, some of the seeds will pop out. But this will make it easier when you are shaking the strainer. So here we go. I'm just going to do a little shake, 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 shake. And then the seeds will just fall right through. You will get some debris coming off of these branches. Um, and then, you know, some of these pods will not break off easily. Some will, but you can see I'm just hand breaking some of them. And that's because some of them have uh, dried faster than others. And some may um, still be a little, I guess, wet. These are the ones that um, you want to keep still on a pod and have them dry a little bit more. So if they aren't falling right through, just um, you can try popping them. If they don't, then you can save it for another time. I'm just cutting some of these branches and I will be saving those pods for a later time. So we're going to shake it again just to get all of the seeds out as much as we can save. Um, and then you can see the seeds have fallen right through to the plate. That was actually very easy and didn't take too long to do this. And you know, you can eyeball it, see, um, you know, if all the seeds have fallen through, if there's anything stuck in the debris. But really it's very easy to do this. You know, and a, having a strainer just makes it so much simpler that the seeds will fall right through and most of the branches and debris just stays in the strainer. So this particular branch is the one I'm going to be saving where the pods did not burst, so they aren't ready. So I'm just going to set it aside and have it dry some more, and then I'll do the same process to harvest these seeds. So here are all of our seeds that have fallen through on the plate. You can see we did get quite a few of them. They are very tiny and there is still some plant matter that has come through. You can take tweezers and just pick it out or blow it out. Next comes bagging it. Just put it in a uh, plastic bag and put it in a dry, cool place to store. And just label and date it and you're all set. That's how you harvest arugula seeds. Thanks for watching, Bendy Ventures.